Y equals one over two. All right, nice. That's pretty good. Okay, and now what you can do is you can use the trick I showed you earlier. So if you have one over one over something, that just equals to something at the bottom. So in this case, you can just plug back Y into the first equation, and then we get one over one over two, so that's just two. So we get, all right, you can just plug back to Y, or you can. All right, cool. So what we get now is one over X plus one over one over two equals one, and this is just two. And now we can do is subtract two from both sides, and this becomes negative one, and then again x equals negative one. All right, so your final answer should be x y equals negative one, one over two. This basically means that like, x is equal to negative one, y is equal to one over two. All right, did, how many of you guys got that? All right. 0.5 is the same as negative 1 over 2. And so I would encourage you, try and use fractions in general. Because if you end up with things like 0 0.3 repeating, or that's just 1 over 3, but writing it as 1 over 3 makes it easier to deal with. All right, so question 4, I think, is where it gets a little bit tricky. 